What's up YouTube? It's your boy Vision here. And today I'm going to show you how to get Silk Browser. Now I'm doing something a little different. It's like kind of like a review. It's not really hard to get because it's in the Amazon store. Um, but I'm going to show you like, you know, different stuff you could do with it. And a uh, little like tricks and stuff. So what you do is go here to the magnifying glass and go over to and press Silk right here it's gonna be a third option click it right there it is uh, for you would probably say get but for me I already have it in my cloud so it would tell me to download it let's give it a little bit here Now there are some limitations to it, like you can't directly download from the browser. You would need like ES File Explorer or something. But uh, you can create bookmarks and all the other good stuff. It's also like another uh, option to watch YouTube on. It has options for like desktop, which is pretty cool. So you can like manage your YouTube from there, from this Silk browser. Okay, I'll click open. Now I did notice, just go down and press agree or accept. Now I did notice that I tried to change the uh, search engine because, you know, Bing is not really the greatest. Alright, and um, it didn't change it, it stayed bang, so you got, because if you press the three lines, what's cool about it is that, you know, your, your fire stick is now the cursor, so that's, that's pretty cool, and I hit the three lines, I went down to settings, uh, went to advanced, and right here, search engines. I changed it to Google. But when I go back, it's still Bing. And even when I exit the app and go back in the app, it's still Bing. So I don't I don't know. But uh, regardless, um, I can show you how to make uh, bookmarks. Like let's say you want to make YouTube one of your bookmarks. Next, go down here, click YouTube. Uh, oh, it's asking me to open it with my other apps, my other smart YouTube app. I just hit just once. And as you can see, you could sign in. And it'll work, and it'll look like just like the desktop version, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you wanted to make this your bookmark, you just hit the three lines, three lines in your remote. Go all the way over to this star. Say add bookmark. I see it already did it. So that way when you back out of this, You can just hit the three lines in your remote again. And it'll take you directly to your bookmark. Now you could sign in and it'll take you directly to your signed in page. When if 
you gotta sign in first and then bookmark it. But uh, I noticed that when you try to download something, like let's say I typed in Cody for instance. And I went to their downloads page. And I go to Android. 32-bit. Uh, now, if I try to download it from the Silk browser, it says downloading not supported at this time, but it didn't, it didn't say it to me. It just see if I try to download it from the Silk browser, it'd say it would just kick me straight out. But since I have VS File Explorer, if I say just wants to download it from there, it'll it will download it as you can see but I'm gonna cancel that because I already have Cody of course um... other stuff it can do of course you could search images if you put in your um... you could turn the safe search off if you wanted to it also has a uh... You hit the three lines and you go into settings. See, it has parental controls. So, if you don't want your kids, you know, getting into certain things on the internet because you know you're not, now you have full access and you could turn your um, safe search off, you know, you could go to any site you want. Um, keeps a lot of your search history, but of course, you can erase that. Uh, you can customize your home page like if you don't want the menu bars there see at the top they're gone and now they're there uh, you can even change the background on the home page if you wanted to be something else uh, this is just like trending news here and just hit down again and it'll all go away but uh that's basically my review I mean I I like it I like that um if you go to YouTube you get your uh like the right desktop kind of look on it so you can you know search your own YouTube look at your own stuff on YouTube And uh, that's basically it. I'm making this video short. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, a different option to look at YouTube plus a browser, you know, where you don't need a, a mouse. You can use your own fire stick to control it, which uh, I think is pretty cool. All right, if you like my videos, I have more on the way. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.